Hello YouTube and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chen and this is my mum Chi. Oh hi! Welcome to Jang's. If you're new here, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food because we are Chinese takeaway owners. We also own Malaysian street food restaurants as well. So therefore, we also show you how to do stuff like that here. And because we're Chinese, we teach some traditional Chinese food as well. So welcome. If that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit that like button. So, no. Well, yeah, do that. But also subscribe as well, yeah, Ma? Yes. Introduce it to your friends. Yes, do that. Yeah, just do it. Just, just do it. Okay, so today, what are we doing, Mum? Jedi whisky duck. Yes, this is a dish I literally invented when I was about 12 or 13. Now, this version is the version we used to do in our Chinese takeaways, which I stopped because I taught someone how to do this and they then started doing it and then I thought, what's the point in competing with myself? So I, I took it off the menu. But I want to teach you guys. So if you've ever had this and you're local to the area and you haven't had it from us, it's still my recipe. Okay. <laughs> and this is how you do it. It was a massive seller. I'm going to do it on my own channel, Chin Cooks, the version that I made when I was younger. It's ovened, it's all ovened, and the duck is raw. But I'll go through that on that channel. Just, so just go and subscribe to Chin Cook Stuff if you want to see that in the future. I do loads of different recipes on there. Well, I will be doing, it depends what I want to cook. It's not just going to be um, Chinese. It'll be if I fancy making hot dogs from scratch or whatever, stuff like that. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> I was going to ask you, this did sell quite well when we have it. Yeah, in. yeah, we did. Somebody used to get it every every Saturday, isn't it? Loads of people did, what yeah. What we end, they get two, they put it one for the next day. Yeah. Yeah, we've also got a cookbook out, I don't remember. Yes, we do. That's on our web store. In fact, a load of our products that we're using here can be found on our web store, which is chinandchew.com. Yeah, we're going to get on with this. Can't think of anything else to say, can you? Yeah, just we get on with the preparation and just go through it step by step to you. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, that's how, that's how we'll do it. Right, so here we have our duck. We showed you what duck the Chinese takeaways use. They, this is frozen. It'll be in your Chinese supermarket in the frozen section. And we're using Big Eight. This is quite a good brand for a really good price. The best is called Cherry Valley. If you can find that, Cherry Valley all the way, but we're gonna use this. And what you do is you just cut this open and cut as much duck as you want. It lasts for at least 48 hours, if not longer, in the fridge. We have two heat teaspoons of garlic puree. We've got a video for that. I'll put that in the link below. Half a teaspoon of MSG. A dessert spoon of dark soy. We're using Lee Kum Kee's premium dark soy. We've got six heat teaspoons of sugar. This is quite sweet, but it's really nice. Don't have it every day. I know someone's gonna comment, Oh, it's too sweet, you can't eat that. It should be against the law. Just, if you have it once a month, it's not gonna be bad for you, is it? Get over yourself. Three teaspoons of garlic powder. Four shots of Jack Daniels. We have four dessert spoons of Lee Kum Kee's hoisin sauce. We have two chunks of fermented red beans and the same amount of liquor that it comes in. I'll show you the tin for that. It's on your web store. Yeah, it's on the web store. So there it is. That's the brand we, we've got on the web store. Web store is chinandchew.com. We've got a dessert spoon of vegetable oil. You'll also need another pan with oil in to um, fry off the duck first. You'll also need another sort of dessert spoon of oil to fry off this pak choy later. Obviously we have the pak choy. We've got about half an onion here, but I'll only use a quarter sliced. 500 mils of water. Again, half of this is to cook these and half of it's to go into the main dish. We have also uh, potato starch slurries, equal volumes. So if you've got one sort of cup of potato starch, you have one cup of water and then a tad on top, not too much. It's 1.2 to one. So there we go. Um, first thing is to mix all these four ingredients here together to make your paste. This paste will last at least a month in the fridge, so you don't have to worry about it. I make quite a lot at one time because the longer you leave it, the nicer it gets. Right, okay, so here's a tip. We're gonna put the garlic powder in first, and then we're gonna slowly add the hoisin to this to make a paste. If you don't do this, your garlic powder will just go really lumpy. It's like making a roux. 
So when it gets to this stage, you can just start adding all of it. If you don't do that, you have massive chunks that will never cook out. Then this bit, you have to mush up this red beans. It, this isn't doesn't matter too much if it's too lumpy because the red beans will disintegrate. In, red when you, bean curd. Yeah, red bean curd. So it will disintegrate when you cook with it, won't it, Mum? Yeah. And then all of your Jack Daniels goes in. As you can imagine, because the amount of Jack Daniels that goes into this, it was quite an expensive dish. You can add some red food colouring if you want to make it a little bit brighter, but I don't think it's needed. Do you no, know? Not at all. You'll now be able to decant this into um, a what's the word called? Glass jar. Oh, glass jar. As long as it's airtight, that's the word. Airtight container, um, and this will last in the fridge for months. And now I'm going to start the cooking process of this dish. We're going to serve it on boiled rice though today. Right, so we're going to open this up and I'll show you how it comes. Like I said, this was on the live stream. If we ever do a live stream, I always leave the live stream up and then I do an edit. So it comes like this and it always have a bit of plastic and this is not edible, you need to throw that away. So I'm going to take half the breast and cut it upside down deliberately because that keeps the skin on. So I'll be using this. I'm going to take half the leg, which is the best part, it's about me and my mum like the most, isn't it, Ma? Yes. Leave this down here to chop with pizza. This now goes onto a pan. So we've got oil in here. We're going to put this meat side down first, because what that does is it allows the meat to warm up, meaning that when you put it the wrong the wrong way round, the meat can, lies a little bit flatter to the oil. The skin, sorry, lies a bit flatter and then renders nicer. So we're gonna turn this up to about medium high heat. We're trying to get some heat into the meat and some color on the bottom. We'll turn the heat down a bit. This process is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes if you do it properly. So now it's on a lower heat. Just trying to get some of that, the heat through that thick duck. And then we'll turn it over and start browning the, the skin. I mean, 10 to 15 minutes total to cook this duck. With some colour on the bottom, I'm going to turn it over and try and get some colour on the top. When you do this, make sure your pan is as dry as possible as well, otherwise it can spit. Well, it helps reduce the spitting, the duck is going to spit. But, and you want to do this on a really sort of medium to low heat. You don't want it too low, otherwise it'll take forever. And you don't want it too high, otherwise it'll burn before the meat's cooked. Start smelling the duck now. Yeah, it only means the skin's browning. It is very nicely. Sometimes you have to purchase it up against the side of the pan to get a good connection with the sides. Because otherwise, that browns there and then stays the same colour there. You want to render that as well. So you just get it on its side like that. Perch it up. Like it's resting in an armchair. And they do have their own mind. They don't listen to you. Yeah. They It'll be fine. Slowly sliding down Tee -hee. and then when one side's nice and brown you just flip it over to the other you need to keep an eye on this one that doesn't burn it's doing quite nicely that one we will finish it off on the bottom side for a little bit as well to get a bit more color on that meat so this duck is very nearly done that'll be coming out before that it's fine for this to sit and rest this duck it, it likes to do that it's got some nice color to it there getting nice duck takes patience Like that old gross advert. You can't rush it. It's nice that's coming out now. Leave that to rest. Oil? Yeah, please. Should we put oil over it? Oh, yeah, we've got the one. No, part, so. part, that's enough. Because some of that has to yeah. go for the uh, patch oil. I'm going to let this oil heat up so it's nice and hot, yeah, Ma? Yeah. So we're going to put a good handful of onions in. Just let it cook off a bit. You want them to brown. You can smell the onion now. It smells lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Start browning. Okay, so when it starts browning, you Eat. want to add your MSG and your garlic. You turn the temperature down because you don't want that garlic to burn. Now we've got a tablespoon measure here. When that garlic starts going brown, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, Five, one, for, one more for luck, six measures in. And what you we're gonna do now is turn the heat up on this and cook this off a bit. You smell the Jack Daniels cooking yes. off this. 
what you're trying to look for is for the oil to start moving around the top. You don't want it to burn either, so you've got to watch the temperature. You've got to go from high to hot, high to low, um, constantly. Turn it. It's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. What we're going to do is going to add some water and sugar into this and do this process again. It's important you're trying to cook this first stage off. There, when the alcohol smell goes, that's when it's ready to add a little bit of water. Literally just gonna add about 100 milliliters. I'm gonna bring the temperature back up and add the sugar. Yep, temperature's up. And the soy. Dark soy. I'm gonna turn that high. Bubbling again. We're gonna let that reduce for about two minutes. Right, so now you want your potato to start slurry. You just want to thicken it, not too much, just a little bit. So a tiny bit at a time. Because this is pretty much nearly as thick as you want it to be. Can you see the sauce get clear now? Yeah. Before it was cloudy. And that is pretty much spot on. So we're going to yeah. take that off and set it to the side. And back to the pak choy now. Yeah, now back to pak choy. So we're going to whack the rest of the oil in and we want to get this as hot as we can. Ideally, you want to be doing this all at the same time. So you want a pan on for the sauce, the duck, and the pak choy. It's, it's a multitask. It's multitasking, yeah. I really like this pan. It's a Pyrex pan. Is it? Yeah, no, it hot. needs to be very hot. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. So here we go. We're going to put the pak choy face down. Be careful of spit. And all you're doing here is kind of making it like char. Or charring it a bit like the seaweed when you use the seaweed, make the seaweed. You get that kind of flavour from charring it a little bit. It will spit, so be very careful. And then you add your water. And this is just to cook it through so it's nice and tender. This literally isn't going to take very long at all. I'm just putting a pinch of salt in here. What is this, 30 seconds? Yeah. It's done. So now let's build this dish. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna carve the duck up now. That came off nicely. I wanna do it at an angle, like this. Just get nice slices. If you're a purist, you can use chopsticks, but um, this is the closest to hand. You need your knife really sharp to go through that skin without taking off the meat. Oh, that crispy skin. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Mm. So we're going to take this pat choy and lay it on the bottom. So we laid the pat choy on the bottom and then I'm going to take light soy and just drizzle a little bit over that. It's mainly to season the rice a little bit. Then we're going to take our duck and place it on the top of the pat choy. Oh. Duck goes there like that. It's already looking amazing. Yeah, and then we take this lovely rich sauce, and it is rich, and drizzle it over the top. And yes, I was 12 when I invented this, and it's fan bloody tastic. I cooked a lot, didn't I, for myself? Yeah. Because mum was always at work at the takeaway. So rather than let my grandparents cook, who classic English cooking, I took what I knew from watching mum and my auntie work and made my own stuff. I'm going to finish this with some chilies. You don't have to have the chilies, these are just, we like chilies, so making my mouth water. Yes. Yeah, okay, there we yeah. go. So here it is. That's the finished product. It is the finished product. Look at that. That was amazing. Right, testing. Yeah, it's quite a while we hadn't had this now. Mmm. That's it. Mmm. It's nice. Yeah. It's really silky. Mmm. Rich. The chilies we put on were for show, they're not hot at all, which is super disappointing. There we go, that is Jack Daniel's Whiskey Duck. Um, yeah, very good. My favorite thing that I used to cook when I was a kid, like I said, I'm gonna do the true recipe I used to do. This is the takeaway recipe that we adapted to make in our takeaways. The real recipe will be on Chin Cook Stuff, new channel there. We've also got a review channel where we review Chinese products called Chin and Chew Reviews. All links will be below or if you hit um, channels, they're there as well. That's so good, isn't it? Yeah. 
but that would be the best yeah. meat for it. It's, you can use pork mm. or you can use chicken as well, but duck is the best. Um, it's really full of flavour and punchy without being in your face, is it? Yeah. Anyway, that's how you do that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mum. Happy cooking, happy eating. There we go. Cheers, guys. <laughs>